An interesting choice that every soldier main has to make is deciding between the stock and the original. Is corner peeking more important, or is it better not to have trust issues with your crosshair? While most classes have a well-established set of the most optimal weapons to use, the stock and the original are truly down to personal preference, making it a difficult choice. But what if one was actually objectively better than the other? Consider this. If stock is firing at a diagonal into the center, while the original is simply firing in a perfectly straight line, doesn't this mean the original would reach the target first? Since the diagonal line is mathematically longer than the straight line up the center, the theory checks out? I tested this by spawning two soldier bots. One would use the stock and another the original. I then teleported both of them into the same position, aiming at the same spot. Next, a bot at 1 HP for them to shoot at. If the original does actually fire faster than stock, then the original should be the one consistently showing up in the kill feed. There's a chance that the target is just not quite at the apex of the triangle. So I tried adjusting the target's position, but in the end, I could never get the original to consistently kill. At this point, I can't tell if the original is actually faster since the deciding factor is seemingly random. Could it be something to do with how rockets are spawned? Is it server networking? Maybe there's player priority. In Smash Melee, there's an engine quirk surrounding port priority. If two players initiate a grab at the same time, whoever has the lowest port number is awarded the grab. Similar to this, TF2's hitscan has a player priority. As far as I can tell, conflicts are resolved by whoever joined the server first. Here are two scouts, named after the order they respond. If they both shoot this 1hp target at the exact same time, the bot that was created first will be consistently awarded the kill. Having established that player priority is a thing with hitscan, how does it work with projectiles? I say projectiles because I couldn't test this with rockets. It seems that two rockets can't exist in the exact same position because if there are two players in the same position, firing at the same point at the same time, one of the rockets will explode. This seems to only happen specifically when the rocket is first spawned, because if I shoot perfectly against a teammate's rocket, it won't explode. And it also won't immediately explode if I'm even 0.001 unit offset from the other soldier's position. This quirk applies to every single soldier primary. With two bots in the same position, aiming at the same spot, firing the short circuit Mega Man Blast, the killer is oddly always the last person to join the server. I also tried this of the bison and the same thing happened. And same with pipes. So simultaneous kills and hit scan are rewarded to those who joined earliest, and projectiles rewarded to those who joined latest. But as seen in our comparison between the original and the stock, they don't follow that rule. So by breaking the rule that the other projectiles follow, does this imply the stock and the original don't shoot a projectile as equivalent to each other? Since shooting people isn't giving us the answers we want, maybe shooting walls will give us an answer. After positioning the bots such that the wall is the apex of the triangle, here is what it looks like when the rockets explode against the wall at 0.001 game speed. To clarify, this is not slowed down in editing. This is slowing down the game engine through the host timescale command. Environment collision is likely handled differently to hit detection, but at this point, I don't know what else I can do to get to the bottom of this, so I'm gonna have to conclude it here. So one of the first programmers of Team Fortress 2 previous job was um, manager of a Waffle House. 